how to make a donation website completely for free. Hey everyone and welcome, we hope you are doing great. In this video, I will show you step by step how to do so in many different ways. So I'm going to show you exactly how it works. And this is going to be a completely free thing to do. So the website is going to be for free and setting up the donations is also going to be for free. So let's just go in and get started. Now you have a few options when it comes to the website options that you can go with. Mainly you're going to go to Google Sites, which is a free uh, website tool that you can create any website with. Uh, so if you want to go with that one, you can just go to sites.google.com. You can even go to wix.com if you want to, and you can actually create a free Wix site. Uh, but it is going to keep showing people that it is you know, a Wix site and whatnot. So there's going to be watermarks. You would expect that for a free website anyway. Uh, then I think you're also going to be able to do it with system IO. I believe that's also an option that you can go with, which is system IO, as you can see. So I think all of them are going to be viable options when it comes to free sites. And um, typically it's going to always be the same setup method. Uh, it's not obviously exactly the same, but it has the same essentials. So let's just go in and get started and show you how to work your way around it. And I'm going to be using uh, Google Sites in this example. The reason I chose Google Sites is because it's the easiest when it comes to setup. It doesn't really take a lot, a lot of time, and you will see that in a second. And also, it's you know the easiest when it comes to even embedding stuff to it. So let's just go in and get to it uh, right away and click on blank site here. So just click on this plus icon and this is going to open up the site for you. And you're going to start out with the home page. So this is pretty much the home page and you can feel free to customize it however you like, starting with the actual um, title here. So you could go for, um, now you can either go for a one page website. If that's the case, then you would want to add a header here that displays exactly what this donation is. Uh, cause is for pretty much so just do uh, i mean i'm going to do test donation sites in my case but obviously for yours uh, you're going to do something else and then here you would want to give this site a name i'm not really sure i'm just going to do test one more time and you can even add a logo if you want to and then from here we can feel free to even change the background image here uh, simply just click on image, click on upload, and then you can just feel free to upload any image that you would like. I'm just going to go for this one. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to keep it how it is, but you can obviously feel free to play around with that. Now, if you don't want to create a one page website, in this case, you can feel free to always add pages to your Google sites easily by just clicking on pages on the top right and click on the plus icon when it hovers over is it's going to say new page just click uh, sorry click on new page and this is going to open up this section for you where you can obviously just do um, the name of the page so i'm just going to contact us and click on done and now you can even see it creates a navigation bar here for for us at the top and you can even feel free to change the header image one more time for this one. It's going to be different from the previous one. So you can actually see between them, it's going to have a different banner image. Now, obviously, you can feel free to create more and you can even create drop down menus. But I'm not going to show us exactly what you need to do in order to create a proper site here. Uh, so let's just go back to the home page here, which is the main uh, option. And then from here, what we are going to do is actually start adding our, um, you know, donation, basically. So this is going to go through either PayPal or Stripe. Now, there are obviously other services out there, but I believe these are the two best and well-known options out there that you can use in order to set up your donation campaign. Uh, so let's just do Stripe for the time being. But obviously here, if you want, to, before we get to that, if you want to add anything to your Google Sites, it's very easy. For example, we can start with an image. Click on Upload on Images within the Insert option, and you can just insert an image here. And this is going to allow you to add an image, and then you can feel free to just add some text beneath it if you want to. Uh, we can just do title here, example. So feel free to uh, donate. 
uh, as an example i'm not really sure i'm not good with examples anyway so i'm just going to change the color for black and then we just want to centralize the text and maybe even increase the size for it so let's just make it quite large here and make it bold as well so as you can see it's very easy to create text and change the um, formats for it so you just need to highlight it change the color for it make it bold italics change the font if you want to it's up to you and then we want to add something below here to allow them to actually donate so let's just go ahead and open up a new browser tab and let's let's just go for stripe but again this also works well with uh, paypal so i'm just going to go for stripe.com if you don't have an account here for stripe like i said this video is going to be completely for free so you can actually go ahead and create your stripe account like zero dollars it's going to be an absolutely free uh, option for you same goes for paypal by the way you can use both completely for free so if you want to sign up just click on sign in and it's going to give you the option to sign up so as you can see once you click on sign in it's going to give you the option to create an account just click on create an account and it's going to be a very simple process straightforward uh, and you know very simple but you actually need to connect your bank account or bank information as well that's a, an important part otherwise how are you going to actually you know receive the payments so let's just go ahead and go back and then i'm just going to sign in real quick and show you what to do next okay so now that i signed in uh i'm using test mode because i did not actually verify my information and i did not complete the account setup for my stripe so if you're on test mode make sure that you're actually not in test mode because whatever you create in test mode is pretty much not real it's all just for as the name says testing so even the donation links even the buttons whatever it may be it's not going to be real and if people try to open it up and actually donate it's not going to send any money it's not going to even take any money from them so make sure you turn off test mode if you don't you know you don't have the ability to do so that means you did not actually activate your account by following the steps so just make sure you go to the home page and continue activating payments click on continue activating and make sure you go through it until you are you know pretty much done with setting up your account completely so make sure you add everything that is required now i'm not going to do that again i'm just going to do everything in test mode and it's going to be an exact replica of how it's actually going to look like without test mode so don't worry so uh, basically what we're going to do is just go to payment links here but if you don't see it you can find it within payments here i believe and if you click on payment links this is going to show us here uh, the option so once you click on payment links you want to click on new from the top right click on that and then we are going to basically just set up the donation link in here so it's going to be a very simple process and obviously later on you can feel free to always come back to it and see how it does when it comes to analytics basically so we're going to start with the left so it's very simple left side is pretty much the options and the right side is the preview so you can actually see how it's going to look like so when it comes to select type you want to actually go ahead and select customers choose what to pay if it says products or subscription this is not going to work make sure you select customers choose what to pay at the end of the day this is a donation so we just want to set that up next up we would just want to go ahead and add a title for this so we can just do this is for donation sites and then the description is also going to be an option here to let people know what they're actually donating donating for so you can feel free to add that and you can always add an image here just to you know give more feels to it if you want to and it's going to obviously pop up here in the preview and when it comes to the currency you also have the ability to play around with the currency and set up whatever you want now you have the option to set uh turn these on so the first one is suggest a preset amount this is going to be something that you can add if you want and just show people like how much usually people donate for or what is a good amount of uh donation basically if you want to but i'm just going to keep this off uh, and then we, we can also feel free to set limits so you can feel free to set minimum amount if you want to or even maximum amount if you need to um, so again this is up to you 
and in the advanced options we also have a few things here that we can adjust for example the pay we can just change that to donate as an example uh, limit limit number of payments add custom fields that people can adjust here in the preview allow business customers to provide tax ids and also more things like allow uh, collect customers addresses and so on so i'm just going to leave everything as it is except the button itself so once that's done we can just simply click on create link but i just forgot we also have an after payment here the confirmation page you can also feel free to adjust it and add a few things to it once you're happy with the payment page and also the after payment page click on create link from the top right and we are pretty much done this is actually going to create the link for you and you basically just want to copy it and take it back to your uh, google sites here you can obviously see everything that you need to know about this donation uh, so basically you just want to copy this link at the top and then we just want to go to the google sites here and you can feel free to add a button so you can just go ahead and go scroll down within the insert options and you can just you know design it however you like you can feel free to write uh, more about the donation with text or something so i'm just going to add some sample uh, text here as if you know you're you're actually describing what's happening and then you can just add a button give it a name like donate and then just paste in the link here click on insert and you can obviously feel free to design the button however you like when it comes to the style and stuff and obviously you can just place it in the middle here for example and we can just change this alignment to oh sorry change this to be centralized and Basically, whoever clicks on this is going to be taken to what we just saw when it comes to the preview. And this is pretty much it. Um, again, you can use PayPal if you want to. It's going to be a similar me uh, method. You just need to uh, set up a button or even a campaign with Shop of, uh, not Shop, PayPal, and you should be good to go. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty much it. This is going to be a completely free step. And obviously, the last thing is publish your site on the top right. Give it a, a name so you can just do um, really any name here. I'm not going to actually publish it, but you can just do any name here that is available and then just click on publish and it's going to be a completely free step to do. And you're pretty much good to go. So hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching.